guys, I don't know if you saw the video the other day where we found a bunch of coats in a department store dumpster. You guys, oh my goodness. It's loaded. I think it was 17 of them is how many we found. But I'm going to show you in this video. You guys said you wanted to see it, how I ended up trying to repair them, like with this, basically. <laughs> These gashes that they put in here. So the coats were all slashed. Very few of them were straight slashed. This one doesn't look bad. But um, so this is kind of a video to show you how I went from this to a cute little repair. So that's what I'm gonna show you in this video is what I did, how I ended up doing it. And um, I've only got four now done so far. So, but you guys can see my journey of how I got to cuteness. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Okay, looking at these, I'm laying them all out. And trying to guess what to do with them. So we've got three gashes on this jacket. And unfortunately, they are not where you would have pleats. Nobody would have a pleat on the butt. Um, here would be totally fine. But they slashed all the way up here. And down, that's such a long one. And it hasn't spread yet, but that's definitely going to. So I think... Maybe this one will be my um, my cut up one to use for fabric. Okay, so this one will probably be the tux. This wouldn't be a bad one to do like a flower or something on. This one's good, I like this one. There's just two. This one, three gigantic long, long gashes. This one's really bad. This one's not even a smooth edge here. This is a size large. This one has a lot of fabric, so maybe I'll just do a stitch up this. I don't think I'm going to be able to um, put the mending fabric on the back and make it disappear. I think it's going to be obvious the whole way with this particular fabric. Especially on a the back. There's so much like stretching that happens with shoulders and a butt. These are like a cat scratched it at an angle. <laughs> This one's not good at all. I don't know, unless I, actually this one might not be bad to do something artsy with. This one's straight up and down, but man, that's a long gash. This one's not bad. This one's kind of small. This seems to be descent down the center. This one, very wavy. This one just has two, but they almost took a, a panel out. And this one's really long and crazy. So this one, since it's so gigantic, maybe this will be the one I'll cut up because there's three huge ones and it's a size small. Oh, it's a medium, okay. So it gives me some fabric to work with. All right, let's see what I can come up with. Let me think about it. Okay, well, first things first, I'm just gonna take this off because, by the way, if you have a really heavy duty magnet, like an earth magnet, you just do that. comes right off. That's it, just a magnet, so that's off. Okay, this is my way to show you. Take the magnet, slide it over here. You can kind of hear it click, and it just slides out. Anyway, it's gotta be a really heavy duty magnet, like a um, rare earth magnet, like a fishing magnet, something like this. We found this somewhere, and it works great for stuff, so um, this is our heavy, heavy, heavy duty magnet. Okay, I have this pink thread that's pretty, it's not bad. Um, but this, I've got a ton of this. I'm just gonna use this on the one that I'm gonna stitch on the inside just to see how the heck it looks with just a stitch down the back. So that's what I'm doing. Not a perfect color, but I really don't care. I'm trying to do free. And I've got a lot of this weird beigey color. And it's not actually an awful color with it. It looks kinda nice. Okay. This one, the center is here. This goes down the wrong way. So I'm cutting a fourth slit right up here to kind of match, trying to make it as even as I can. I'm gonna make all these the same length or as close as I can, and it'll have four panels going down, uh, four darts, I guess. We'll see how that looks. Okay, it's not beautiful, <laughs> but it actually sewed very nicely and um, I tried, they were so crooked, it was difficult. 
Let me see what it looks like on. I think it's going to be more forgiving when it's on. So I wear a large, but... It looks really good, Steph. This was, I like, think, the really best good. one to actually put the darts in. So this turned out fine for this, I guess. Turn around again. I was going to get a closer. This thing keeps popping up. Good job. It looks like it belongs there. At least somebody can wear it now. Absolutely. There's no reason for that to be in the trash. Yeah, they don't need to buy it, but for a homeless person or something, perfect. Doesn't even anybody. All right, this next one, I um, this one was really slashed up here, and it still kind of is. You can well, you can't really see it. Actually, it looks pretty good. Um, but I decided to go all the way down the middle with that because it was crooked, and um, I was gonna put a flower here and one up there to where you didn't really notice, but you know what? When it's on, that's gonna look fine. It looks weird, I guess, on this plus size mannequin. But um, that's good enough on that one. It's fine, it's cute. On to the next. Okay, another jacket, ooh, good job. I think it looks fantastic. I can't tell. Good enough? You, you feeling cold? No. Not in that jacket. Not, it's hot in here. It looks fantastic. Good job. This is a medium. This fits like a large. It's very nice. I like it. Okay. I actually like the color of that too. I do too. Feel free to keep one. It's going to be cold here in a couple days. Yeah, right. All right. Flip flops in a jacket. Yeah, that'll be a nice combination. <laughs> On to the next. All right. Okay, this is my next one. Uh, this one is the one I think I'm going to do for flowers because these kind of can be some stems or something here or something. But this is size large, so I think I've got a little bit more space to do some patterning stuff. Kind of evenly cut, and this isn't a bad place to have a tuck in it anyway. So, let's see what happens. Okay, so I did a zigzag stitch on here just to sew it up, and then I was going to make a thick stem, but... I decided to do a really, really wide, thick zigzag to make the stem, and it's cute, I like it. But this is what I'm thinking. I don't like that this is a little bit crooked, but not much I can really do about that. But um, anyway, I'm gonna see something like this. I might put another leaf here just to even it out, but I wanted to kind of make them offset because, you know, the slashes are so long. <laughs> So on one side, and this side is uh, short, and they don't go the same angle. So that's my way to kind of disguise it. So that's what I'm going to try to do is make a couple flowers or something with some leaves and call it a day. We'll see how they sew up. I have no idea. This might be hideous, but we'll see. Okay, this lighting's funky because I'm at a window here. But... Um, I decided to go tone on tone, pink thread, not the gray thread here. It's taken me longer than I thought because I have to pull the whole um, coat through to go around all these little circles, but this is what it's looking like. I think it's pretty darn cute, and I decided I think I'm gonna go with this. Won't that be adorable? I'm so excited, I think it's so cute. So we'll see what I end up doing. Instead of the circle, um, I think I'm gonna do the button because I think it's adorable, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, so cute. I think I'm gonna love it. It's looking adorable. Cuter than I even thought. It's subtle and cute. And on to the next one over there. All right, I'm thinking higher flower to offset, trying to detract from this weirdness. So maybe two leaves on this one and one on this one. Let me see. That looks kind of odd, but I don't know. I'll see when it's on there. I think with these little buttons, it's really going to throw everything off and you won't really notice everything because it's going to be so different. So um, we shall see. This is just what I'm playing with in my head. I really wish they hadn't slashed that back. It'd be super cute. I could have done something different, but I got to deal with what I got here, so we'll see. There it is. <laughs> it's actually adorable. I love it. Really cute. I decided to do one flower or one leaf, two on this one, just to make it look a little different. 
And I'll try it on. I'll have Steve hold the camera so you guys can see it. It's cute. I think it's cuter. going to be cuter on even. Here we go. There it is. Behold. Very nice. Good? Move your hair. I like it a lot. You did such a great job. Yeah. It looks like it was meant to be. Cool. Very good, honey. It's a cute coat, too. Yeah. It's very so. nice. It looks like something you would wear in London. Oh, really? London? Yeah. All right, then. Because it's cold there. Well. Yeah. Good job, honey. It actually, this is a large, but I think it's too big for me. I was thinking I'd keep it, but I think it's a little big, huh? Yeah. Old Navy stuff kind of runs big. But who so. cares? It's free. Yeah, it's free and you can keep you warm. I'm certainly not going to make one of those other ones, like a medium. Yeah. This took me too long. But I Good. saved three jackets Good job. so far. I mean, here, you could show them this real quick. So. Okay, so she saved this one. This little pin tuck, that's just fine. Good job. This one, it's a triple. Same thing. And then this one with some flowers. The bedazzled one. Good job. Thanks. I love it. That was fun. Good job, honey. On to the next. On to the next. Okay, I've got a fourth one I'm working on right now. This is going to be quite a road ahead of me <laughs> to eventually get to these. But um, this many more to go. I'm glad we found them. I'm glad there's something we could do with them. So we've got a lady that lives in our neighborhood who makes fidget mats for um, people with dementia. And basically she said anything that has, that we find that has textures, buttons, zippers, uh, anything like that, she can use that as a material to for her and her friends to make these fidget mats. So whatever I don't end up being able to repair, I'm gonna give them to her. And I'm definitely giving her a bunch of them anyway. Um, and she can do something great with them. So I'm excited, this is fun. Thanks for joining me. On to the next.